Today's video is sponsored by our very own Spring Store, but more about that later. Hi everybody, welcome to Simply Scuba and welcome to the deep dive. In today's deep dive, I'm going to be diving a little bit deeper in how to assemble a twin set with a backplate and harness and wing style setup. Now it's very, very simple, I promise you. It's just something that you're not really taught in your open water. We don't really teach you this. We'll teach you how to do uh, like single cylinders on a recreational BCD, but twin sets, they may look complicated, but they're actually really simple. You do this, or I do this, before and after every dive to sort of break your kit down so you can clean it properly. It's really quick and simple. Um, the first thing is, is these are my twins. So these are twin 12 liter steel cylinders, and they have these twinning bands. The twinning bands hold them parallel. They stop the tanks from twisting and turning, uh, so you're not damaging the valves. Very important to keep them as straight as possible. These are always going to be 11 inches apart. So these twinning bolts themselves, these are always 11 inches apart, and that's kind of industry standard, just so that equipment is always going to line up and it's always going to fit. The only things that change with twinning bands is the size of them, depending on the size of your tanks. Uh, if you're diving with twin sevens, then of course the bands themselves are going to be a little bit smaller. If you're diving with 15s, they're going to be bigger, um, but always 11 inches apart. And I like to put them kind of as high as possible, just makes it, um, you get some, or I find I get better trim in the water. Okay, so because these are 11 inches apart and because there's this kind of crevice here between the tanks, this is a handy place where you can fit some lead trim weight. So if you get something like this, um, so this is a lead bar. So this is about five kilos of lead and it's coated. So it protects the, uh, the, the lead doesn't like leach out into the water and it just sits in there nice and neatly. So that's a great way of adding some trim weight. Uh, if you want to, you can see how it's a little bit bigger at the tail end. You can rotate it if you so wish. Um, and then it's a little bit sort of further up. That's very much up to you. Um, but that's a handy place to put some lead. It's out of the way. Obviously it's non-dumpable. There's no way you can get rid of that whilst it's uh, sort of in the water but it's a great way of just sort of filling that empty space and using it practically because the lead's close against your back. Then you get your wing and your wing basically lays on top and then you can see we have these grommets and these grommets are going to be 11 inches apart and they're going to line up with those twinning bolts there. One at the top, one at the bottom and those line up. So that way the wing is kind of in position, it can't go up or down and then you put the back plate over the top of it, sandwiches it in position and keeps it in place. So then we get our back plates. Now I've removed my harness just so it's easier for you guys to see. Uh, and then you'll have a bunch of holes with this back plate. These are the only holes that line up, unfortunately. Ideally, I'd more like to use that one because that's where uh, we'd go through my harness and that's just a little extra security, but it's not the end of the world. Um, and as the lower one, a lot of newer back plates, they actually have a vertical slot. So instead of having a fixed 11 inch apart, uh, so the two holes, it just gives you a little bit of leeway, makes it a little bit easier. Once that's in uh, position, your wing is sandwiched and then you just need to bolt those on. So if you use compression nuts, um, I couldn't find my compression nuts. I have no idea what I've done with them, so I'm gonna have to buy a new set. Um, but then you use either a set of wing nuts to screw that down and into, oops, into position. The compression nut just gives it a little bit of spring, basically, or you can use something a little bit fancier. Um, because this is recessed, um, I promise you, you won't feel those wing nuts uh, sort of in your back. They're, they're sunken enough so that there's no way they can dig in. You can also fit some lead weight in there as well if your twin bolts are long enough. Um, and that's basically it. Uh, once they're done sort of nice and tight, the compression nut will uh, sort of help with that. Then you're good to go diving. It's as simple as that. Um, twins really are pretty easy to, uh, to assemble and to disassemble as well. Um, undo the nuts. Take off your back plates, wash that with the harness, make sure that's nice and clean. Off goes 
your wing and the bladder, give that a good clean. Uh, and then you just attach the, uh, the twins onto a, a trolley or something and take it home for a fill or um, yeah, that's about it. So very quick and easy. Um, nothing too complicated. They kind of look complicated uh, if you've never seen anything like it before. Um, but yeah, when you're actually doing it, they are really simple, I promise you. If you do have any questions that you want us to answer about twins or anything to do with scuba diving, let us know down in the comments below. And if you use the hashtag AskMark, it just means it's a lot easier for us to find and you might even get featured in the Friday show. Thank you for watching everybody. And of course, safe diving. Calling all scuba divers, do you want to stand out from the non-diving crowd? Do you want people to know that you are a scuba diver? Well then our very own Spring Store will help you out. We stock tees, stickers, hoodies, phone cases, even mugs that all have a scuba diving theme to them. From our super popular emotional bolt snap tee, cave shark stickers, and our scuba dude hoodie, we have something for everybody. And our range is becoming more eco-friendly every single month thanks to Spring's eco-friendly range. Each order is printed fresh, which means less waste, less plastic, and it's better for the environment and it also helps to battle clothing waste as well. To view our full range, just click on the link pinned in the comments. And hey, why not treat yourself to 10% off of your total order with the discount code DSN10. Okay, back to the video.